All right. So what we're going to do here is demonstrate how you can save a set of newly drawn ROIs as a template and then reapply that template to other images where appropriate. This will obviously save you the process of redrawing ROI sets. Okay, so how do we do this? Well, let's go up to measure and select save ROIs to file. We'll obviously go ahead and use the ROIs that we've drawn here in image one. Click continue and give it a name. We'll just call it ROI demo set and hit OK. All right, so now let's go back up to the other images that are already opened in Aura. And you can do that by going and selecting the minimum icon here on the sliding bar. And this will get you back to, uh, this will zoom out to all the other images that are loaded. And we're going to want to go ahead and apply this ROI set to the other two images. So we need to select these images and you can do that by hitting select all. All right. And you can see the select destination has been given in the top left corner here with the green triangle. All right. So now we go to measure and restore ROIs from file. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and restore the five mouse, the, R, the uh, ROI that was called ROI demo set, and we apply it to all of them and we'll just hit restore ROI. Actually, we can go and restore only to the selected images and that we selected all of them, it shall apply to all of them. And we've already have it on one, so we can get rid of that and hit continue. And so there you are. You've created an ROI template and then applied it to other images as appropriate. And you haven't needed to redraw the ROIs. They're there and ready to be analyzed. Now we're going to go ahead and save these newly drawn or applied uh, ROI templates to their respective Amy files. The advantage here is that when you reopen the Amy file, you won't have to redraw uh, any individual ROIs or apply sets of ROI templates. The ROIs will already be there and you'll have the opportunity to either confirm, modify, or add to the ROI analysis done. All right, so how does one do this? You simply go up to File, select Save Experiment, and we can go ahead and name this. And you'll note here that this is now not going to be a .amy file, but in that it has the ROIs superimposed on it, they will be .aura files. All right, so that essentially is done. To go ahead and demonstrate this, we'll go ahead and clear the field. and load the files. So go to File, Load Experiment. And what you'll see is the entire set of Amy files with their saved ROIs brought back and you are now ready to go ahead and do any additional ROI analyses that you see fit.